At exactly noon, the clock tower didn't play a bell. It played a lullaby no one recognized, and the city froze. People looked up from crosswalks, from cafe tables, from half-written emails. The melody drifted down like something remembered from a dream. Soft piano notes, a sudden violin phrase, then silence. No one applauded. No one spoke. Because the tower had never done that before. For a century, the clock tower had been reliable. Predictable. Every hour, the same chime, the same rhythm, a mechanical heartbeat for the city below. But this morning, the sound was different. And by evening, it happened again. A sharp electronic riff. Then, at midnight, a slow, mournful tune that echoed through empty streets and made night shift workers pause mid-step. Rumors spread faster than the music. Some said the system was broken. Others whispered about hacking or art students sneaking into the tower. But the truth was stranger and quieter. Years earlier, a small team of engineers had been asked a simple question. What if time didn't sound the same every day? They replaced the old mechanism with an algorithm. Not random noise, but structured uncertainty. Thousands of melodies, rules, probabilities, evolving patterns. The clock wouldn't repeat itself for decades, maybe centuries. No one was told. The city council signed off, and life moved on, until people started listening. At first, the melodies were just curiosities. People filmed them, shared clips online. What did your clock play today? Became a question neighbors asked each other. But then something shifted. A man grieving his brother heard a tune that matched the song from their childhood road trips. A woman stuck in an unchanging routine heard a burst of joyful chaos that made her laugh out loud for the first time in months, the music wasn't sentient. It didn't know anyone's story. And yet somehow, it felt personal. One evening, during a storm, the tower played nothing at all. No melody, no chime, just rain and wind. People stood beneath umbrellas, uneasy, as if time itself had paused. Then, one clear note rang out. Simple, steady, a reminder that the system was still there, still counting, still moving forward. The engineers later explained that silence was part of the design. Even unpredictability needed rest. Today, the clock tower still plays its music. No schedules posted. No explanations given. Some days it's strange. Some days it's beautiful. And some days, it's exactly what someone needed to hear. By accident. Because maybe the lesson wasn't about time at all. Maybe it was about listening. If this story made you pause, look up, or listen a little closer, please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what sound you'd want your city to hear next.